When I think of myself, I play a movie in my head. But it's not a movie that I get to pick. It often comes to me in the form of experiences, memories, or feelings that belong to very specific moments of my life. Some of them are happy, some of them are sad. And then I ask myself, how did I end up here? People always tell me to be mindful, to live in the present. But lately, I've begun to wonder if they truly believe that or if they just wish that truly worked. And then I wonder what came first, humans or nostalgia? We are addicted to it. We play old songs, we watch old shows, or shows that try to recreate a specific time in history. It seems like lately, these last ones have gained a lot of popularity. The truth is that I never had the chance to put all those thoughts together until 2020 happened. Who would have ever wondered that life as we know it was going to turn upside down? I know I didn't. One day, I realized that I was bored, but that wasn't it. As the days went by, I started to feel something that I always said I was incapable of feeling. It was a mix of depression and utter loneliness. What once was a room full of light became a dark place, a very dark place that is hard to get out of. The problem with loneliness is that it won't leave you alone even when you are surrounded by people, even those whom you deeply love. And then nostalgia becomes your best friend just to stab you in the back. You try so hard to go back to your happy times. And even those moments that once seemed sad don't look as bad anymore because at least they are not that dark, dark room that you can't escape anymore. At times, I jump on social media to see how others are doing. Are they feeling what I'm feeling? But often I end up more disappointed than I was before. I look at myself in the mirror and I notice things that I never noticed before. And suddenly, a face I thought was pretty before isn't really that special. I see all these guys and I say, look at them. You're never going to be like them. You're not that strong. Look at their bodies. Look at their faces. You were simply not that lucky. Sometimes I lay on my bed and these thoughts consume me until I fall asleep and then I wake up. It's 8 p.m. again. Another day that goes to waste. I didn't eat. Was it because I can't stop thinking about how many calories are in what I have at home? Did I forget or is it yet another symptom of my deep loneliness? At the beginning of April, my doctor prescribed some antidepressants and even some vitamins. I take them all together because I learned how to swallow multiple pills at once. Are they even working? I ask myself. My therapist told me I needed to reach out to people and God knows I've tried, but I've come to realize that there is no bigger lie than when people tell you, I'm here for you if you ever need to talk to someone. And I don't blame them. They're also trying so hard to live their own lives. How could they know, right? The picture speaks a thousand words, right? But no, it doesn't. Look at me. See this picture of mine. Perfectly normal. Perfectly fine. I'm smiling. And while multiple times I've wished I just died, something in me keeps telling me that this shall pass too. And then I will be there, standing, feeling, living. Life as we know it is a social construct. Whoever said, and they lived happily ever after, 
was perhaps one of the saddest people ever alive. Remember I said I play these movies in my head about my past experiences, memories and feelings? One day I'll look back, you know, when things go back to normal, and by then the dark, dark room will have an exit door. It will always be there, but will I ever go back in? I don't know. I guess I'll live one day at a time. And then, we'll find out. Mm-hmm.